hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Vijay Saladipo for those that are new here and on this channel I film about faith marriage and lifestyle from UAE thank you for tuning in and for my returning subscribers I love you all so much thank you for being so amazing guys so today it's an impromptu vlog and guess what there is a power cut in my building can you imagine what that is for those of those of my subscribers that are in africa you may not really understand what this is but for those that are you know privileged to be in the western world you know what it means when there is power cut it took me on our way and i just want to share the lessons i've learned in this power cut stay sit back and enjoy this vlog i'll see you at the end i never knew that um a notice was saved for like a week or two now to say that today there's going to be maintenance so there will be power cut for four hours four good hours guys we didn't know we never read we're always using the lifts none of us not me not my husband not any of my children read for us to know to be pre to prepare ourselves so a notice was said that there will be no light for four hours due to maintenance and we never knew well back in africa nobody saves you notice that there is there will be no light you know it just happens like it's a natural thing they just take the light and we say oh nepa in nigeria we call it nepa oh nepa has taken the light and you move on with your life but since we were privileged to uh, relocate to this place we've been here for almost four years now there has been no such thing and it took us like on our ways like on our ways guys um maybe his office to see if he can get the laptops and the phones charged you know we can like use uh mobile data to like join service and all but guys it's just amazing that <laughs> it's amazing and it's a shame it's a big shame on me to not read notice let me take you around what my house looks like right now very dark there's the walkway see what my kitchen looks like it's totally dark like it's a blackout that's the one way to my living room see i was able to open the window a little see everywhere is dark and it's about to nine now so that is the predicament i'm in now so i just got to know that um once in a while like this they do power cuts uh, power cut for maintenance purposes and when um they are about to go through that process they usually send uh, like a notice to buildings that will be affected you know to better prepare um the, the people that such is going to happen but it's my first time guys and unfortunately i didn't read the notice neither did i pay attention to like hear from neighbors or people that that is going to happen and um the only way that a power cut happened usually in ua is if you're not uh meeting up with your bills if you don't pay your utility bills on time they will come and like disconnect it and when you pay the bills they will like fix it back immediately so aside that i never knew that the kind of like cut the power for such things as um, maintenance so it's my first experience guys you see why it caught me on our way it's me we're still waiting for lights i don't know how i'm going to attend service guys and it's really important to attend service but um i'm sure when my husband gets the phone charged we could turn on our mobile data and join service so have you guys experienced this before were you prepared or were you unprepared for it like me please share your experiences with me in the comment section the lessons i've learned this morning is that don't be too complacent things can change anytime just the, the, the way coronavirus has taught us that things can change at any time that is what this power cut has taught me this morning don't get too used to the mundane of now saying okay so it's going to be like that forever forever mm -hmm. things can change 
because mm. if I had been better prepared, at least my phone, our phones would have been charged, our laptops would have been charged, prepared for service this morning. Can you please stop the face making? <laughs> Another thing I've learned is that I should read. Like I should read everything with the book. <laughs> that is public notice. I shouldn't just feel it doesn't concern me or it's an old one. I should at least, if I had read, I would have seen the notice at the reception yes. that yes. that there will be power cuts. None of us, like none of us. Okay, my husband can be excused because he um, drives through the straight to the car park. And he comes in from the um, park floor to our floor to access our flats. But for me, I go through that reception like every single day, guys. And shame on me, I never read. I, like I didn't read. If I had read, at least I would have told him I would have all been prepared. Another lesson learned is. It can happen at any time. Christ can come at any time. Wow. We should be prepared. It reminds me of the story of the ten virgin. Five were wise. Your wise won't tell you guys. Okay, a bridegroom was coming to take his wives. They are they are referred to as the ten virgins. And the time the bridegroom said he was going to come, he delayed further. They had waited all day, all noon, and now it's night, right? So now it's night, the wise ones were better prepared because they took extra oil with them, with them that just in case the bridegroom comes late, we should have oil to lit our lights. You know, in the old days, there's no electrical light, so they use lantern, and the lantern requires oil like gasoline to make it uh, bring the light. So, those wise virgins were with the, with an extra oil for their lamps. But the foolish ones just assumed that, you know, the bridegroom will come on time, so they were not prepared. They didn't have extra oil with them. So the bridegroom came in the night and you know hurriedly he announced he's around let's go let's go the wise one were able to lit their lantern get themselves prepared and they went with the bridegroom the foolish ones had nothing to prepare because it was dark right so it has taught me this morning that i should always be prepared prepared for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. It can happen at any time. And another, I think another lesson I've learned also is that I should appreciate the things I call the common things. Without them, it can be really difficult sometimes. I really appreciate the Wi-Fi, the light that is always there, that I can switch on and off any time. The what? No, that's, that's, you are digressing, my darling. Yeah. <laughs> but now there is no light. That's when I really appreciate the bulbs that gives me light to assess on my flat. You know, you appreciate the things you have, okay? Because it's when you lose them, you know how important they really are. So, don't mind my look. We all woke up this morning. I have not even brushed. <laughs> I have not brushed. They have brushed. Yeah. I just said I should tell my YouTube family what is happening to your girl this Friday morning. I can't remember doing an intro. So, I'm sorry if I didn't do any intro because the filming was just <laughs> like that. So, I hope you'll be able to learn one or two things from my power cut experience this morning. Let us be prepared. Let us not be too complacent this year. And let us read. Read. <laughs> read everything readable. <laughs> public notice make sure you read even if it doesn't concern you at least you may see someone that needs that information and you'll be like i read it somewhere that this that that will happen it's it's very bad of me i i don't read such and i have learned to take that more seriously right now okay guys that will be it this morning this morning from the time i'm filming this um video what's the mushy mushy i don't even get both of you what is it give this video a thumb up consider subscribing if you have not subscribed join this very real family and 
like comment subscribe share some of my need to see this and yeah god bless you as you do so till i see you in my next video my name is bj tomadipo bye be good stay safe stay blessed bye don't be too